This video features a selection of the new and updated features from the April 2025 release. The full list of features can be found in the April 2025 version 202504 release notes, which you can find on Brightspace Community. This month, we're excited to highlight the following features. In grades, learners can access a quick link back to quizzes to access their quiz feedback. In quizzes, the new quiz evaluation experience is transitioning to default, with an opt-out available until July 2025. Brightspace now offers automatic notifications for successful password resets. Instructors can now provide bulk feedback in assignments and discussions. Now in the new content experience, lessons, navigation buttons provide a smoother way to move between content topics. Media Library features a redesigned interface that matches the look and feel of other Brightspace tools. D2L Lumi Pro now allows instructors to generate AI-powered content module summaries, saving time and enhancing clarity for learners. Also, with D2L Lumi Pro, instructors can now generate AI-powered learning materials from external files, making content creation more efficient in the new content experience. All D2L Lumi Pro and D2L Lumi for Creator Plus capabilities now support multiple languages, including French, Spanish, Portuguese, and Dutch. With D2L Lumi study support, learners now receive personalized recommendations for remedial material based on their practice quiz results. Analytics Builder now supports external data integration, allowing you to connect multiple data sources and create custom data sets with Brightspace datasets. And finally, a summary of changes for the other key features. Let's take a closer look at this month's features. In Grades, learners can now quickly access their quiz attempt feedback through a quick link back to their quiz attempts. Before this update, learners might have missed additional feedback within the quiz attempt. The quick link makes it easier for them to return to their quiz attempt to review the feedback. To access feedback, learners can now click the View Quiz Attempts quick link on the Grades page. It's a seamless experience that saves time and enhances the learning process. This feature is available to all clients and is automatically enabled for all users. No additional configuration or permissions are needed to activate it. This feature implements the following PI item, D5170, Student Access Quiz Feedback via Grades. Thank you to those who created this PI suggestion to implement this feature. Originally released in September 2024, the new quiz evaluation experience is now enabled by default, allowing users to decide whether they want to disable the new experience. This transition aims to promote broader adoption while still allowing users to opt out until July 2025. Previously, administrators and instructors had to manually enable the new experience, but now it's automatically activated for all users. To make the switch, simply go to the quiz evaluation page. If you wish to continue with the classic experience, click Turn It Off, or leave the new experience enabled by selecting Leave It On. Administrators can offer users the choice to manually opt into the new experience through the June 2025 release. After July 2025, the new experience will be mandatory and the opt-out option will no longer be available. This feature is available to all clients and does not require any new permissions or configuration settings aside from the existing d2l.tools.activities.ce quizzes opt-in variable. If the configuration variable is set to off, the new experience is entirely disabled, preventing users from opting in. Brightspace now automatically sends an email notification to users whenever their password is successfully reset via the users or class list tool. This feature helps prevent confusion and unauthorized access concerns by ensuring users are always informed when a password change occurs, boosting their confidence in the platform. This update is available to all clients and is automatically enabled for all users. No additional configuration or permissions are required. A new Password Reset Successful email template allows administrators to customize the message. D2L recommends adjusting the template to guide users on who to contact if the reset is unexpected providing further security and clarity. To learn more about customizing the template, consult the Reset User Passwords topic in Brightspace Community. This feature implements the following PI item. D11867, send user email when password is successfully changed. Thank you to those who created this PI suggestion to implement this feature. Instructors can now add bulk feedback directly on the assignments and discussion submission pages 
saving time and improving the user experience. The key capabilities include adding and saving bulk feedback as drafts if no feedback exists, updating existing drafts or published evaluations for multiple learners at once, and applying feedback to selected learners or to all learners with a single click. Please note that bulk feedback is not supported for quizzes or in the grid view of discussions. This feature is available to all clients and is controlled by the d2l.tools.le.allowBulkFeedback configuration variable, which is set to off by default. In July 2025, this will be enabled by default with an option to opt out. By October 2025, it will be fully enabled for all clients and the config variable will be removed. To learn more about providing bulk feedback, consult the Assess a Discussion topic in Brightspace Community. This feature implements the following PI items. D10673, bulk edit discussion slash Dropbox feedback. D4921, bulk grading and feedback in Dropbox slash assignments. D6429, bulk feedback upload for non-submitted assignments. And D6739, assignment bulk edit feature. Thank you to those who created these PI suggestions to implement this feature. With this release, the new content experience, or lessons, introduces navigation buttons for smoother movement between content topics. Now, instructors and learners can easily navigate through course content in sequential order following the established structure. To move between topics, simply use the navigation buttons located in the top right corner of the content tool. This feature is available to all clients and is automatically enabled for all users. No additional configuration or permissions are needed to activate it. This feature implements the following PI items. D6218, Unit Navigation in the New Learner Experience. D6793, Allow Previous Activity and Next Activity button as footer to each page. Thank you to those who created these PI suggestions to implement this feature. This release introduces a redesigned user interface, or UI, for Media Library, aligning it with the look and feel of other Brightspace tools. The updated interface allows administrators and instructors to manage media files across multiple courses and content objects. All the functionality of the old media library still exists, but is now presented in a modern way. The Add Assets button replaces the previous Upload and Record buttons. Clicking it launches a dialog where you can upload new assets and record audio or video. In the Add Assets dialog, select Record Audio or Record Video to create new media or you can drag and drop files into the upload area, or click to browse for files. The Recycle Bin icon has been moved to the top right corner. The updated UI now displays how long files will be stored before permanent deletion. From the Recycle Bin page, select media items and click Restore Selected to recover them. In this example, the item is permanently deleted after 90 days. This feature is available to all clients and is automatically enabled for all users. No additional configuration or permissions are needed to activate it. With D2L Lumi Summary, instructors can now generate AI-powered content module summaries in both the new content experience, or lessons, and classic content experience. Generate Summary pulls content from assignments, quizzes, discussion topics, and media files, providing a comprehensive module overview. Generated summary suggestions present a learner perspective, an instructor perspective, and a module-focused perspective to choose from. Previously, instructors had to manually summarize module content. This new feature saves time and enhances content clarity for learners. This feature is part of the D2L Lumi Pro for Brightspace add-on solution that must be purchased separately. For more information, contact your D2L client sales executive or account manager. To learn more, Visit the Generate Content Module Summaries using D2L Lumi Summary topic in Brightspace Community. To enable, administrators must assign the Generate Module Summaries role permission and ensure the d2l.tools.generativeai.isenabled configuration variable is set to on. D2L Lumi content allows instructors to generate AI-powered learning materials from external files in the new content experience or lessons. Instructors can upload a Word document to create a unit or convert a presentation or lecture content from PowerPoint. When instructors add the AI-generated unit to content, 
that unit remains hidden and locked from learners until instructors review it. This ensures that all AI-generated content is verified with human and instructor-led oversight. Previously, instructors could not automatically generate content units based on source files. D2L Lumi Pro Content is only available in the New Content Experience, or Lessons. This feature is part of the D2L Lumi Pro for Brightspace add-on solution that must be purchased separately. For more information, contact your D2L client sales executive or account manager. To learn more, visit the Use AI to Generate Learning Materials from External Files Using D2L Lumi Content topic in Brightspace Community. To enable, administrators must assign the Generate Course Content Role Permission and ensure the d2l.tools.generativeai.isenabled configuration variable is set to on. D2L Lumi Pro and D2L Lumi for Creator Plus now support content generation in multiple languages. In addition to English, instructors can generate content using French, Spanish, Portuguese, and Dutch. Note that if D2L Lumi Pro detects mixed languages, it defaults to the predominant supported language. If the language is not recognized, the output remains in English. Previously, AI-generated content was limited to English only. This feature expands accessibility and supports diverse learning environments. D2L Lumi Study Support now recommends remedial materials to learners based on practice quiz results. This feature provides instant feedback, helping learners improve comprehension and retention. After completing a practice quiz, learners receive personalized content recommendations based on incorrect answers. If learning outcomes are aligned with quiz questions, recommendations become even more tailored. Previously, learners did not receive study suggestions. This feature is part of the D2L Lumi Pro for Brightspace add-on solution that must be purchased separately. For more information, contact your D2L client sales executive or account manager. To learn more, visit the Suggest Remedial Content with D2L Lumi Study Support topic in Brightspace Community. To enable, administrators must assign the Add Study Support on Quizzes role permission and ensure the d2l.tools.generativeai.isenabled configuration variable is set to on. Analytics Builder now supports external data integration. This update makes it possible to connect multiple external data sources to Analytics Builder and build custom datasets in combination with Brightspace datasets. You can view the full list of supported data sources in the release notes. Uploading external data is not enabled by default and requires agreement to updated terms and conditions. To get started, reach out to your D2L representative. This feature implements the following PI item. D1156, grant permission to add data to QuickSight datasets by uploading files. Thank you to those who created this PI suggestion to implement this feature. Finally, let's take a quick look at the other features for this month's release. D2L branding and visual theming are applied to Analytics Builder for a consistent Brightspace experience. Brightspace Datasets Major Version 10 is now available for adoption. In four months, Major Version 10 will become the default and all clients will be automatically migrated. DataHub has improvements available in both BDS versions 9.16 and 10.0. Two new Brightspace datasets called Question Answer Options and Question Answers. For all five Brightspace datasets containing the AI utilization column, it can now support a value of four. And the Quiz Objects Brightspace dataset has a new column called AI Study Support. With this release, the software that powers annotations in the Assignments tool is updated to the latest version, Nutrient 1.0.0. In external learning tools, administrators can now navigate directly from the LTI Advantage tab to the Deployments. Also, by default, the Configure Deployment setting is now enabled, reducing the chance of manual errors in the LTI registration process. We hope you enjoyed this month's release highlights. As before, you can get the full details of this month's changes in the April 2025 version 2025-04 release notes on Brightspace Community. See you next month!